Happy Valentine. Thank you. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Please tell us who are you celebrating. Now this is on Pia Maboy Chalo. I deserve it. I mean, I deserve it. I deserve it. Yeah, dear Jose. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, so tell us, this is up. How are you mm -hmm. feeling? How's the week been for you? The and week has been super Valentine. fantastic, and of course, it's all about love. Now, my parents even let me say, "Ma, feel as my with the romantic kind of love." Maybe yeah. you have your mom who has played a big impact in your life, and you want to send love to her. Maybe it might be your brother, Monyame Kusmamia. Maybe after you all lost your parents, unfortunately, it might be your colleague, it might be your boss, it might be anyone. And if you want to spread love to them, we're giving you that chance. So make sure that you send in your video, and you never know when. Somewhere over here, Katikati, a show. So make sure you send in your video. Make it short, make it sweet, just like your girl over here. So the <laughs> vibe of the day is record a short video to say something special to your loved one this Valentine. Our WhatsApp number is 011 200 16 44 011 200 1644. Twende Kazi. But we gotta catch up on what has been happening yeah, so a lot all of, through the week. For sure, for sure. That's why we have Ida Mumeta, the digital maestro. You guys, this this this, this shorty, let me tell you one thing. Ida, mm -hmm. you know, I really love what you do. You guys oh, love what you, you do. Aww. So you're also my Oh my gosh. So get to me look at your group. So tell us what has been happening. All right. Welcome, guys. Come along, come along, come along. Let me bring you today's highlights. Now, watch at Wednesday where we left off last week. I don't know if you guys remember, but we took a bet last week. Tukaulizana, who is taking what team? Who is supporting what country? Alafu nakumbuka, the very beautiful, our short and sweet, Amejita is short and sweet, Leo Aziza. Akasema, yeye ni wa Egypt. Mimi, na I think Rikmo, alakini Rikmo alicheza ki watermelon pia ya kenda Egypt. Tukabaki, right. na just... <laughs> 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 Me, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't uh, know anything. You come back to and I just say, oh, Senegal, Senegal. Yeah. Guess what? Our predictions came to pass, and Senegal actually won this year's AFCON. Let me tell you, this match was beautiful in so many ways because, for starters, the coach who actually took this team to the AFCON act was actually their um, captain in the year 2002. Wakafika finals hawakushinda. 2019 tena wakafika finals hawakushinda. Finally, this was the year that Senegal took the AFCON Cup home. I'm telling you, it was such a beautiful sight to see. And not forgetting our one and only, Mendy, our goalkeeper. I'll just start by saying the Senegalese and our goalkeeper, because I mean Africa has to come first. Um, won an award that day for the goalkeeper of the season, for of the goalkeeper, Goalkeeper of the season, I believe, um, but I'll confirm that. But yeah, all that matters is Mendy now has three goals in less than nine months under his name. I mean, three awards, sorry, in less than nine months under his name. How beautiful is that? I'm so proud of these guys. I'm so proud of Africa. I'm proud of Senegal. I'm proud of the coach, Mr. Sise. I salute you, man. That that was a beautiful, beautiful game. So, Jika ni muli Kama muli sikiza vizuri. Nindo muli pinga. Senegal pinga? Senegal but before that, I tried to check the video of celebration when they got home. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it, man. It was beautiful. And just to correct myself, it was the goalkeeper of the tournament award that Mendy won. So yeah, yep. man. They're going to take it up again. Um, Senegal and Egypt, do you guys want to take up um, bets one last time? Definitely. Because it's just next month. S S Senegal uh, all the way, you know. Uh, we have man. <laughs> ma na kifua sana. Si kifua ni well. <laughs> but yet again, let me, let me comment about this, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, unakumbuka, there's a time Mosala ali na kuzua kwa ref. Ref mm -hmm. akampatia, you know, akamuliza, you want a ref? Nika limpea leakage. Hey, you know, you want a ref? <laughs> hey. Akasema too, no, no, no. So, upper water people, please stick to your lanes. Now, Pia, you know, we have to celebrate our, our African kings, you know. It was yeah. a very good match, uh, seeing, uh, you know, how far Afcon has come, mm -hmm. you know, and also... To lena yon the first 90 minutes with no goals, you yeah. know, and kwa pressure, hapa na pale, yeah. kwa into penalties. So what I can say is uh, both teams are fairly good, but uh, maybe the best, 
the better team. Yeah. Unajua kushinda mara moja haimaanishi kwamba you are the best. Anyway, I am so sorry to Mosala bado tuko pamoja strong strong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I mean right. he's still the goat. It's just you know, it happens. Yes, <laughs> anyway, moving on to a rather um confusing story I may say. So, 27 year old um West Ham defender Zuma, Kat Zuma has been in trouble, a lot of trouble this week for um kicking a cat. So he kicked his pet cat and unfortunately his brother was there and he recorded the whole thing and now it's um it's just been downhill from there. He got a salary cut. Um he's being asked to pay 250,000 pounds, which is close to 38 million Kenyan shillings if I'm not wrong. Um you know, he's he's not playing. His brother has also been benched from the team that he plays for. So, I don't know. Um Did you guys have you guys been following this whole fiasco online? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I honestly think um it's not the fact that I'm totally agreeing with the fact that he did something right and yeah. something wrong yeah. um you do not treat animals like that right. because regardless of the fact that they're animals treat them with kindness right. but i think that was total overreaction the mm-hmm. penalty that was uh, kept on him was a bit too much and mm. over the board we've seen cases still in sports of people who have uh, been caught in cases of racism people who have done the most and uh, they haven't received this kind of penalty so in mm. my opinion i was like do we want to say that the life of an animal is more superior than the life of a human being mm-hmm. i think it was a bit too much yeah. fine he needed a penalty but not to that extreme Absolutely. do we say cats lives matter more than human lives mm-hmm. i upana yeah and i think this has also brought up a whole other conversation online Hashtag #black lives matter is back now because guys are like okay um we get what you mean we get what you're saying but i mean slavery has been there you know yeah. we've, we've seen all these things taking you know, th- place th- those are d- double standards um you know, absolutely i don't know if i can say this but anyway um, you know uh, this whole uh, this whole white supremacy thing you know i i don't you know it's something that we you know trap it in the 21st century mm-hmm. and it's quite unfortunate that some of these things are happening to you know black players and uh, it's something that's moving forward that i think there should be a way to protect you know all players across board not not only the black ones even the white ones like all players across board across all sports so that we can go with a certain maybe offense or something there is a way to go about it legally yeah. so that you know at the end of the day umsa kona he has a family to feed he, himself he manya nataka you know this job and everything going on and they've worked so hard you know he's playing in a big team so that's quite unfortunate but we are hoping that moving forward it's a lesson learned and we have a video please check this out of yeah his teammate Mikael yeah. Antonio all right yeah. what should it be a harsh punishment for Zima for what he did what he did I've got a question for you, you go for it. so do you think what he's done is worse than racism I mean, I, totally different, two different things, isn't it? I, I'm, I'm, not controlling, I'm not controlling a thing that he's done. Sure. I don't agree with what he's done at all. Sure. But there's people that's convicted, been caught for racism, that's, and has played football afterwards. They haven't, they got punished, they got eight, eight game punishment or stuff like that. But people are now calling for people to be sacked, for them to lose their livelihood. I've just got to ask this question to everyone out there, is, is what he's done worse than what the people have done that are convicted from racism? Yep, what he said times two. Anyway, moving on. Now, Kylie Jenner, 24-year-old beauty mogul, welcomed her second baby on the second, see what I did? Second baby on the second, <laughs> on the second of Feb, um, but she made the announcement just this week. She welcomed her son, um, who she actually revealed his name last night. His name is Wolf Webster um, with Travis Scott, and now Stormy is a big sister. I don't know what you guys think about this. I'm so happy for her. First of all, congratulations to Kylie. And uh, when it comes to someone who actually works hard, if you do follow Keeping Up with the Kardashians, you do know that she actually works hard, especially when it comes to the world of beauty. Her cosmetics company is doing amazing. And now to see her welcoming a baby boy, congratulations. But it was definitely the name for me. I know. Whoa, we started with Stormy, Stormy now we're Wolf. at Wolf. Oh my goodness. Feels like it's a... okay. Yeah, we, was, have to, we, have to, we have to give it up to uh, Travis. You know, Travis, Ky- Kylie is, wow. You know, <laughs> wow! 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 Yeah, for lack of a better word, I mean, what other can you actually describe Kylie Jenner? And uh, you know, big shout out to them. You know, Kylie has been pushing a brand for the longest time, even when she was under 18. 
uh, until now she became an adult. She's actually uh, she's a she's declared a billionaire, right? Mm -hmm. By Forbes. By Forbes. Yeah. 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 So that's 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 quite big, and uh, it's also an inspiration to other young ladies out there to al always secure the bag. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Regardless of how young you are. Yeah. For sure. Is this how you said the names? You reminded me. It feels like there are characters from the Twilight. I don't know if you guys watched this. Yeah, <laughs> Twilight. <laughs> the, the, something sad. Yeah. 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 But anyway, congratulations to cool. them. We wish them all the best, and we wish baby Wolf Webster long life and good health. Now moving on, um, bringing it back to the country. Um, if you, I don't know if you guys have been keeping up, but the Kenyan art scene has really, really been taking off. And this weekend and next weekend, there's a play. The reason why I'm very passionate about this is because it's an all women, all cast, uh, cast and crew are all women wow. play, and it will be showing at the KNT this weekend and next weekend. I believe it's called Spread Your Garments Over Me. Um, it's been done by. I've, I went through the list of the cast, and I tell you, if you're um, if you've been following the art scene in Kenya, you definitely know some of these um, cast members. I believe it's going to be nothing short of amazing. But I don't know if you have the video, a short teaser of one of the cast members just doing something small for us to know what to expect on the day of the play. Like I said, it's going to be at KNT. So if you want to go, this is your cue. Let's go. The king wants to know if there's any witches left. Scattered about, <laughs> still stirring, hobnobbing with familiar things and spirits. <laughs> hmm. I mean, is that talent or what? I don't, I don't know. Did you make a like a twenty? Twenty, twenty. Valentine's gift. <laughs> you know, I just had the sword. Ah, I had it by the itabidi. Itabidi to meet him up. Hey, itabidi. It, itabidi. Hey. Let's do it. To kutane pale chini to kimaliza e meeting. But that's it. That's all I had for the highlights for you this week. But before I check out, I'd love to wish a special, special girl a happy birthday and send her all my love. Um, and that's my younger sister, Lisa Mumeta. Oh. I love you. Happy mm. birthday, Mama. And I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Yeah, and also happy. Happy Valentine's many, many to Lisa. Come. Happy Valentine's. <laughs> what is not happening Thank you very right much. here? Thank you. That is all. Is anyway, hi, Lisa. I love you, Lisa. Happy birthday yeah. to you. Yeah. I love you too. Wow. <laughs>